All right. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to teach you how to determine the distances uh, between powers of 10. Um, so I'll first start off with a common mistake that's usually made. Uh, and I actually made this mistake initially. Um, so we have 10 to the 10 and 10 to the 40th, or 10 to the 100th and uh, 10 to the 101. And we want to determine which which of them is uh, is closer in distance. Uh, so either 10 to the 10 or 10 to the 40 or 10 to the 100 and 10 to the 101. Um, so what I'll do, I'll start off with an actual um, a simpler example to just show the common mistake and then we'll go on with the actual problem. Uh, so let's start off with 10 to the second and 10 cubed or 10 to the fourth and uh, 10 to the fifth. Uh, so the common mistake is to subtract the powers. So you say 10 to the third minus 10 to the second. So you just subtract the powers and you get 10 to the one, which is just 10. Uh, and then for the other one, it's 10 to the fifth minus four and you still get the same thing, 10. Now this does not make any sense at all, and this is the common mistake. Uh, so just intuitively, it doesn't make sense if you use a simpler example. So the method of actually solving this is to, uh, so actually just before I go to that, let me let me just show why this is, <laughs> this is wrong. So we know that 10 to the second is 100, and we know that 10 cubed is 1,000. So 1,000 minus 100 would give us 900. And 10 to the fourth, so that's 10,000. Well, 10 to the fifth is 100,000. So 100,000 minus 10,000, that's going to give us 90,000. So obviously, there's a larger gap. Uh, from for 10 to the 4th and 10 to the 5th, then 10 to the 2nd and 10th cube. Uh, so the method of solving this is, is, is this. Um, so you want to you want to factor out uh, the common factor. So let's start off with 10 to the 2nd and 10 cubed. So I'll factor out 10 to the 2nd. And so we have 10 to the 1st plus 1. And We'll do the same thing for 10 to the 4th and 10 to the 5th. So I'll factor out 10 to the 4th and 10 minus 1. Uh, so, sorry, I apologize. This should be a minus. Minus 1. So the way to determine this is to look at the factor that you pulled out. So 10 to the 2nd, 10 to the 4th. Uh, so clearly the 10 to the 4th is the... Uh, shows that there's a larger gap between 10 to the hundredth, uh, sorry, 10 to the fourth and 10 to the fifth. Uh, so this tells us which which number has, which one is has a larger distance in between. Uh, so let's do the same method for the initial problem. All right, so, so for 10 to the 10 and 10 to the 40th, I'm gonna pull out 10, 10 to the 10th, and we have 10 to the 30th minus 1, and 10 to the 100th, and times 10 minus 1. Uh, so again, here you just look at the factor that you pulled out. The larger it is, that means it's uh, there's a larger difference in distance between those two powers of 10. Uh, so clearly, uh, this will be the larger, I uh, will have the larger distance between the powers of 10 than this. Uh, so I hope that was helpful. Uh, thank you for watching.